Welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We are Us Talk. We have a wonderful interview for you today. We're going to introduce you to, right now, Mandisa, the CEO of Atlanta Film and TV. Yay! This is my kind of show right here. Mm-hmm. This is all you. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Us Talk. Welcome to Us Talk. Yes. Atlanta That's Film and TV. It. Us talk. Atlanta Film and TV. Finally. Mm-hmm. So, welcome to the show. We appreciate you for coming and joining us today. Thank you for having So, me. now we're going to get into men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what is it that you do and how did it come about? What made you want to go into the film and TV industry? Um, well, I am the founder, entertainment journalist, editor in chief for Atlanta Film and TV. Okay. Here to let you know. (laughs) I'm probably leaving out a title somewhere. (laughs) Um, But Atlanta Film and TV came about originally in 2016 at the tail end of my creative writing MFA program. And um, we wanted to be a resource. So I blogged a little bit, didn't do any interviews. Um, I let it go. Well, we picked it back up January 2019, Mm -hmm. and ever since then, you know, we've been, like, full force. Um, uh, I got into film. I actually started in theater in elementary school. I um, Mm, was in drama, and I would go home and mimic what my drama teacher did, and I would unknowingly perform a monologue for my mom. Mm. Um, that was before she died. She died when I was seven. Oh, we're sorry to hear that. Thank you. Um, and I would write and direct plays for my family and friends for the holiday season. And one way we were able to open up our Christmas gifts, we had to either write a story or write a play and perform it. And I was always the director. Wow. She was front row. Right. <laughs> right. So, so with your background and all of that, that's what basically brought you to what you do now? Right. That is so, so interesting. I did not go to undergrad for um, like theater. I actually started as a theater major, mm-hmm. but I realized how much time and energy I would have to put in there, but I wanted to have fun. Nice. So I finished with a communications degree. And when I moved here in 2000, I um, thought I was going to work for CNN as a broadcast, like a CNN, journal, y'all. like a news reporter or an anchor. That mm-hmm. didn't work out. Um, I taught. Um, eventually, I got married, and then I went back to school for entertainment business at Full Sail University. Mm-hmm. Oh, Full Sail, good, right? It's so expensive. you are a woman of many hats. Yes. It's so wow. A woman with many, many hats. I love it. I love it. So is that the only thing that you do? Just the the film and the TV? Is there other things that go behind that? You're a mom. You're a wife. What else is there that you do? Uh, Direct. (laughs) I um, directed um, a project recently for, I can't really think of their their names, but they were like a youth, um, like they were youth with, um, the United Methodist Church. Mm-hmm. So they were trying. They're trying to get more African Americans with the United Methodist Church. So I had directed five of their YouTube podcasts um, oh, wow. two weeks ago. Produce, um, produced events. Um, we we just had a big event two weeks ago. We were sold out. Um, mm, sold out. Yeah. So that's. I'm a writer. Um, not only do I write blogs, I'm a screenwriter. I'm a part of the Atlanta Writers Society, nice. so I just became a member of that. So, yes. Yay. Yeah. You are a woman of many hats and very patient. Yes. Thank I you. must say, very patient. And I, I say that because with being a mom, you have to be patient. Right. And could you, when I say that, they're like, oh, moms, all moms have to be patient. But when I say that, you and know some not I as mean. patient. <laughs> some not as patient, but... With everything, I've, I've seen you and you're just so patient, even with the event that you said that you did a few weeks ago that was sold out, that I was so lucky to um, have been a part of. I saw the patients there as well. And it carries on into motherhood, I'm sure. Um, so could you tell us what I'm talking about so that 
do you know? Just elaborate mm-hmm. on being a mom. Yes, being a mom. So and- um, I became a mom, first time mom, in 2003. My son Miles. My son Miles is uh, 17 now. He was born. Four weeks early, I actually had a dream. He came early. He wanted to come out and play. We told him he had to go back and, and grow. But um, he he did come four weeks early, and then um, 2007, I had my daughter Madison. She's 14, and then the youngest, Milan. She's 11. She's has trisomy 21, or known as Down syndrome. Okay. So yes. Mm-hmm. So um, it can be a little tricky when. Um, of course, being a mom and running a business, especially during the shutdown, mm. um, yeah, it was a little bit of an of an adjustment. Not as much running around like my son is in the marching band, so there wasn't really any of the rehearsals. Um, I, I was able to really see my daughter in her um, her virtual classes and learn more about my um, youngest daughter, Mm -hmm. not my youngest daughter, my middle daughter, um, and how she learns. But she she learns just like I do, very visual. But um, yeah, it's, I think... It's a challenge. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think the patience comes with, you know, being a mother for so long and um, learning how to deal with my daughter that has special needs because she has... She has a therapy, and um, she's learned a lot of sign language during um, the shutdown. So. Mm. You know the sign language also? Yes. Okay, make it yeah. sure. <laughs> sometimes sometimes she'll, she has done sign language before the shutdown that I didn't know what she was doing until I sat in on the class. I was like, oh, that's what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, amazing. Mm-hmm. So... Just speaking of patience with Mandisa, us talk, we need you guys to also be patient (laughs) because we're gonna come right on back with a song. (laughs) You wanna be an actor but don't have any training? You can't take any classes or go to school because you have a life and you don't have the time? Well, if this sounds like you, then you need to join Acting for Beginners Academy, where you are in control of your energy, your time, and your acting education. Acting for Beginners is an online, self-paced academy where you will receive reliable information from me, Danny Guevarez, with over 13 years experience. We'll discuss breaking into the industry, developing a healthy mindset and confidence, which we all can use, and we'll also pursue acting the right way. So head over to www.actingforbeginners.academy where you will be in control of your acting education, your confidence, your acting career, or hobby. See you there. Bye. Thank you all for tuning in again today. So we're back. And uh, we're getting a little bit deeper with Mendisa here from Atlanta Film and TV. So, Mendisa, all the things you mentioned already, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you going? Because we talk about patience and all the things you do in the mini hats. Like, I mean, to keep from getting burnt out, what motivates you? Um, I like being in, like, the entertainment industry environment. Like, the people and the energy, the energy from the people, um... I, I just like being on set, just giving information if people ask for it, um, interviewing people, that keeps me motivated. Being on the scene, yeah. being a part of it all. She just like to be lit. Wherever it's <laughs> lit, that's what, she, that's what she wants to be. Right. That's awesome. So, okay, the idea behind your business, obviously you were intentional. Mm-hmm. Everything you mentioned earlier, there was a specific intention. Um, what is that specific intention at the end of the day, at the end of it all? We know Mendisa and Atlanta Film and TV for what specifically? Um, of course, to be a resource. Um, so I do not ever, ever want to see anybody get scammed. Mm. Like I, when I first, before I knew better, I was scammed. Um, of course, I won't say the name of the. You may. Need I mean, to. <laughs> we, that, you just said you're a resource and you're informational, so. Well, it was Model Productions. Wow. Um, and it was like this big 
thing in the mall where they would have you like model, do a monologue, and look legit. Mm. And they gave you a, a t-shirt with their film and fashion board, and they only booked you for background work. Oh. And then I didn't know that you were not supposed to pay people to do background work. But now I know better. And I share those resources. Like, what types of, uh, what are the top age, talent agencies? What are the great, what are great headshot photographers? You know, what not to do on set and all that good stuff. So now I don't necessarily give all that information out. It's there still. I more interview people um in the film and TV industry and let them give like their share their exp- I'm sorry their experiences and if somebody asks I do provide coaching for mm-hmm. those people that's mm-hmm. awesome Very I nice. mean cuz scamming is big and mm-hmm. so I, I've actually heard that a lot where mm-hmm. do not pay people to get I mean I know background work you can just sign up on a lot of different mm-hmm. websites and platforms and mm-hmm. yeah different agencies that they'll just email you and there you go you sign right. up and show up so and they pay you too right and they pay you right. and yeah. you're doing background work right so i mean i'm glad that you are now offering those different services so you are also a platform yourself you're a big huge platform and when you say you interview others and you hear their story and what they're doing what is your credentials as far as like what well not your credentials but what are their do they have to be at a certain status or how does that all work out as far as who you choose to showcase on your platform well i consider them movers and shakers so they cannot be somebody that is just only done background work like Mm -hmm. somebody that's providing something offering something to the film and tv industry Mm -hmm. something worth to share their story. Um, Like I did, um, I interviewed Tracy Page. She's a headshot photographer. She's one of the leading headshot photographers in the Southeast. She's um, done some of of the kids on Disney Channel. Um, I can't think of her name, but she plays Raven's daughter on the the new Raven. Um, uh, She's done Kylie Coran. Um, I interviewed Joshua Leonard, he's he has an animation. It's um, about uh, children with disabilities, but they have superpowers. Mm-hmm. But he's also making other moves in the film and TV industry and animation. Um, I also interviewed Danny Gabarra. She we did. All know <laughs> she has a acting group, a great acting group with over twenty thousand members. So it's people like that people who are actually making moves in the film and TV industry. And this is correct. We were actually at her most recent event that she told you about that was sold out. Uh, Danny was a sponsor and then Joshua Leonard was there. When I tell you, he is a powerful force and he is doing big things. So yes, you definitely have some, you have to have a resume people. (laughs) If you're going to mess with Mandisa and Atlanta Film and TV, you got to have a resume. And it doesn't mean that one day you won't get there. It just means that you got to come. You got to be a mover and shaker. Period. (laughs) And we also, um, also we've done some things with the schools where we've done, we've spoken with uh, for career day um, mm. as well because one of my goals and this was long before Atlanta Film and TV I wanted to bring more entertainment careers in the school not just actors but more behind the scenes stuff mm. um, because you know sometimes people get tired of the same careers same Fire people writers, mm-hmm. police officers there's other things and since Atlanta is like the new Hollywood of the south absolutely it's like why not bring this into the school so I love yeah. it that's I really love good it. a lot of people yes. they only focus on the acting and don't know that there's other jobs that behind you can the scenes do mm-hmm. within the entertainment mm-hmm. that's amazing mm-hmm. um, so when it comes to we all have our stories about covid Right. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, oh, I lost my job. I got divorced because he, whatever the case. Divorced because of COVID. Yeah, that was not, <laughs> that was sure. a thing. It was I'm a sure thing. I'm sure you in the house stuck. Okay, but that's not the show. <laughs> that, that's another. That's another show. Um, so we always hear the negative things about COVID and how it affects someone's business. Is there anything positive about 2020? Anything that happened in 2020 that affected Atlanta Film and TV in a positive way? Mm, right. So I I did start a new job like 30 days before the shutdown. Um, But that helped a lot because 
you know, I was working one job where I was not able to put my all into Atlanta Film and TV, but since the shutdown, I was able to, like, really blog, and um, my Instagram numbers went, like, from, like, 500, now I'm almost at, almost, maybe at 3,000. Mm, that's a good number. That's a big yeah. job. I got to, like, have more one-on-one -on -one conversations with people, whereas before, I was emailing them questions and having them email me back, so... It's kind of still a relationship, but not really. It's more like an email relationship. Mm -hmm. But like everybody else, I was able to like sit down and have a conversation, and, and like we're still all in touch. So mm -hmm. I was able to build like a community of people. Nice. Yeah. 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 So with talking to you, and I, I've I've known you for maybe a good a few, months. few months now, <laughs> and what I get from you is, of course, just patient and real humble. That's what I get when I see you. Mm -hmm. What what do y'all get when you the see The same. Me? I get that, but when you hear Mandisa, CEO of Atlanta Film and TV, I mean, I'm just, to me, you just goat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just goat for me. But definitely humble. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And Thank it takes, a, it takes a, a lot to raise a child that has Down syndrome. And um, a lot of people don't have patience for it. And don't let and, her fool you, though. She's a mess. Well, you know, <laughs> they're very smart. You know, a lot. They, I think that people just they put a stamp on them, mm -hmm. but technically they're just normal children. She's just life was a part. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we said you're patient. You're the goat. You're humble. All of that. What do you want our viewers and people to when they hear Mandisa? What do you want them to? get from what the, what when they walk you know what I'm saying I keep saying you know what I'm you saying. know what I mean you know what I mean y'all know what I mean what's what's that word or that phrase that you want them to take home with them after they meet you um that I am patient that I will listen um please don't come at me wrong <laughs> And I Ooh. want I want we, you to win. Don't come for her. We need to get to know that person. I want to see that. <laughs> Look, that I want to see that. Right there. You got any stories. Don't on come for me up. unless I send for you. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That part. And when you come, come with a check. <laughs> with stuff under your belt. <laughs> Period. Resume. Yeah. So where can people send their resume? How can how can we get to find you? Where can people, our viewers, find um, you? I am at Atlanta Film and TV on Instagram, and my email is atlantafilmandtv at gmail.com, and my website is atlantafilmandtv, I'm sorry, atlantafilmandtv.com. And she got a website, y'all. How many of y'all got a business and don't got a website? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us talk with Mandisa of Atlanta Film and TV. Like, comment, subscribe, share, tune in again. I can't think of anything to make that rhyme. With yeah. Help me out, y'all. Hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank ladies you and gentlemen, guys. for joining us. <laughs>